Which means you not only kill the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn combative. There you are. Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but... My wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Stay safe. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Oh, I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable, cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra, the Gourmet. I, I'm sorry. The clothes, of course. I, I should have realized. Please excuse my ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. We should proceed to the kitchen straight away.
Not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put what- The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... You're a high elf? Oh, I never would have guessed it. So many of your recipes are clearly aimed at the common folk. It just seems... Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Vampire dust? Seriously? Hmm. Yes, I guess I can see how that would add a more earthy texture. And oddly enough, we do have some on hand. All right, what next then? A giant's toe? You're sure about that? Of course, I'm sorry. One giant's toe, there. What, uh, what next? Mmm, porker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right then, your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Son of your commander, what a lyricist. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one... Now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you... the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh how marvelous! Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... Ah! What was that? Oh, have... Someone what? Attacked! No. No, you don't understand. Oh, this has been some kind of mistake. Ah! 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 Ah!
That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary's being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. Make sure there's nothing left to bury. What a never bloody please here! Enough of this! I cannot best you! 